What's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com, and today we're going to review the top 10 starting pitching performances uh, from the 2019 Minnesota Twins season. Now, how did I evaluate this list? I didn't really want a hand in it, to be honest with you. So I just went straight to GameScore 2.0. Uh, GameScore was a stat invented by Bill James. It's just kind of a snapshot, uh, put a number, a value number on a start. Uh, Tom Tango kind of put his own spin on that idea and invented game score version two so that's what i went these are just the top 10 starts in terms of game score um, but i think the fun part of using that is it opens up for some biased opinion uh, i want to hear what you thought was the best start and also if there were some starts that you were surprised weren't included just have a couple things i found interesting no michael pineda on this list he did not crack the top 10 uh, in terms of outings for game score uh, he was incredibly consistent before the suspension, but his top game score was 73. You had to get to 81 or above to crack this list. And then the other thing I was expecting was a lot of these performances in the top 10 to be against all the poor teams that the Twins played. They did, they did have a great deal of games against uh, bad teams this year. However, out of this 10, there are actually as many games against playoff teams as there are against teams that lost 100 games. I think this is kind of a fun exercise, and uh, it lends itself to some debate because this is sort of a limited approach to it. So again, check it out. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite performance, and what was uh, one that didn't make this top 10 that you were surprised didn't? Have fun. Marios on the season has been very good, and he's really... Wow. I mean, he's been pitched like that. I mean, paints the outside corner with a 95 mile an hour fastball. I mean, they're pitching him like he's, you know, Barry Bonds up there. <laughs> Good inning for Barrios. A couple of strikeouts and a three up, three down, second on 13 pitches. You don't want to get it into that danger zone. Called strike. Four strikeout, two down. Breaking ball got him. Two down. Breaking ball got him. That was nasty. Drury with one of the four hits off the end of the bat, cracked his bat, and Polanco to Gonzalez to end the seventh inning. Seven shutout innings for Barrios. Take a look at Jake Odorizzi. Been a lot better his last two times out. And a high fastball. And Chirinos strikes out. Second strikeout of the inning. On that same plane at your chest, and you'd end up swinging at it. How about that? But that's about it. And another breaking ball gets a swinging strike three. Got him with a high fastball. Got him looking with a fastball. Brilliant pitching by Jake Odorizzi. On the lower level of the minor league side. Jake Odorizzi with another strikeout on a high fastball. Fly ball, lazily to center. Seven shutout innings for Jake Odorizzi. Barrios on the mound looking for win at number 12. Strike three. Good pitch by Barrios. 95 at the knees over the inside edge. Weak ground ball. In fact, a broken background. Polanco double pumps. Still got it. A perfect first trip through the batting order for Jose Barrios. And finally striking him out on the 10th pitch. Came all the way back from 3 0. Oh. There were four two strike fouls and then the wipeout breaking ball. Got him. Fastball at 95 over the inside edge again. Similar to the strikeout of Soto. And a high two seam fastball maybe. Got a swing and a miss. One down. Tap to the right side. Easy play for Scope. And another good inning for Barrios. Just nine pitches. Change up. Tap to the right side. One. Wow. Two. What a play by Scope. A brilliant play by Jonathan Scope to get two on a slow ground ball. Demeanor on the mound. Everything looks so much better. His pace is good. He's working quick. He just looks like the guy we know. Seven shutout innings for Jose Barrios.
hopefully he continues to roll like he did in his last start threw the ball very well in his last start he'll get out still on the outer part of the plate. ground ball and Polanco flips to Crone a one two three first inning and Perez struck out smoke one away in the second that'll bring up Guerrero you sell that to your fans got him looking two down we'll take a look here I mean that's a very very good pitch Castro does a good job of giving the umpire a good look and he got him on strikes on a three two pitch two down you know they required him to get stretched out the next day I mean it would have affected how he is so and Perez recovers from the walk to strike out Sogard on three pitches two two and strike three to Gritchick. <laughs> Chopper to third to the bag and then across the diamond a double play brilliantly started by Marwin Gonzalez at third base. All third strike and Drury squawks some more not so much I don't think about strike three but strike one well, here we think this guy's ready to be a lot better than he was last year and that turned out to be the case swung on and missed a strike out of Sogard Perez with five of the third innings of shutout ball again here tonight he's learning that his stuff is, is going to play and it's very good three pitches and Galvis returns to the dugout three and two to Guerrero Strike three call. Second time that Guerrero's been rung up on strikes. Nine strikeouts for Perez here tonight. Team Perez, Venezuelan born, still makes his home in Venezuela. Stassi one two in the third. And the pitch is strike three call, not a cut fastball. Big pitch here, two two. And strike three looking. And a one two. Swung on and missed, got him. Check swing, see if he win, he did. Wants it inside, 2 2 on the way. Swung on a miss, got him. And the 2 2 pitch, he got him, strike three called. On Marisnik, three left of second, and the 1 2 pitch, strike three called. One and one. And here it comes, it's popped up and playable. Left field shallow, Polanco out, Eddie in, it's going to be Rosario calling and catching. And that's the inning. Perez with his left arm up in the air and pounds his mitt. And that might be it for Martin Perez here tonight. Jake Odorizzi, the reigning American League Player of the Week. Well deserved, and he's been very good his last four starts. Oh, and fairly deep left center field. Buxton tracking it to the warning track, leaping and making the catch. Byron Buxton with a great catch against the fence. Timed his leap perfectly. Breaking ball strikes him out. Stewart left at third. Breaking ball on the outside corner perfectly spotted. And Odorizzi has his second strikeout. It's a strikeout. We'll get your answer in the fourth inning. There's a throw to first. To complete the strikeout. Another one, two, three inning for Oda Rizzi. He has set down eight men in a row. And now one and three, another strikeout. Rizzi's fourth. Reiner swung at a fastball, then took one for strike three. One down in the sixth. Driven to right. Seven more shutout innings for Jake Oda Rizzi's. Tired 20 men in a row. Jose Barrios making his 15th start. Dick just mentioned that he's had 11 quality starts and really impressive. Only 17 batters walked this year. And there's the first strikeout. 95 at the letters, a swing and a miss. Relying on the fastball. The high fastball gets Devers. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball gets a strike. And two strikes. On the outside corner. That's nasty. Wow. Another That's one, two, three inning. His fourth in a row. Change up got it. Wow. 
Golf down the right field line. Long run for Gonzalez. And makes the catch. Another one, two, three inning for Barrios. He's retired 17 men in a row. High fastball. Got him up two down. What's his best pitch tonight? He's got three of them really working well. Fastball. Wow. 95 down and away on the black. Eight wonderful innings for Barrios. Barrios, he's making his 22nd start. Looking for his 10th win coming off that very good start against the White Sox five days ago. And that's a foul tip. Yeah. One and two. And there's a breaking ball and a really good first inning for Jose Barrios. And a high fastball gets him two down. And strikeout number three for Barrios. On the outside corner. 94 upstairs gets a swing yeah. and a miss. Tried to bunt. Three perfect innings for Barrios. Make it seven. Branderson swung over the top of it. Tyler Duffy's been better. Swing and a miss and a strikeout to start the sixth inning. Half swing, they'll appeal. And he went. Let's make it 19. There it is. Walker strikes out. And strikeout number 11, a season high for Barrios. High ball to center. Hit right at Buxton. Six of Brios' seven innings have been one, two, three innings. Kyle Gibson making his 13th start. This is his second start against the Royals this season. And a fastball at the knees. And I think Lopez knew it too. Next best weapon, Gibson with another strikeout to uh, one away. Breaking ball got him another strikeout for Gibson two away. One, two, and you got to hurry with those guys on the base. <laughs> That's right. A double play, wow. two down. Great turn by Scope. Lineup, the whole roster in 04 and 05. I just remember just gawking at his swing. And a slow breaking ball got him two down. Oh, good change up right there. Strikeout number five for Gibson. And Duda is gone on strikes. Second time that Gibson is able to strike out Duda. Sharply hit. Sano scoops it up. What a marvelous night for Kyle Gibson. Strike three, the first of many for Barrios. Two strikes to Tyler Naquin. Tom Hallian rings him up, and the first inning couldn't have gone any better. Payoff pitch. Got it. Boy, that, that was a borderline pitch. And he strikes out. Barrios first time through the order. Nine up, nine down, four strikeouts. And if it's that good of a breaking ball, why wouldn't you throw it a lot? You got him set up. There's nothing you can do. That ball looks so good coming in. And by the time you've decided to swing, it looks like it's at the knees, at the knees, and it just dives under your barrel. That is pitching. On the outside corner, Hallion rings him up. And Barrios is back on the beam with a 1 2 3 fifth. And it's the breaking ball that creates strike three. That's pitching and what a joy it is to watch when someone has command like Barrios and Kluber have here today. Half swing. Strike three. Might not be needed. Two down here in the eighth. And Jose Barrios is going to come out of the game to a thunderous ovation by this sellout crowd.